So the first five minutes was very impressive, very much in line with what I was expecting from the Snyder Cut. Visuals, quality, score, everything was there. But then it took a really weird turn. Recording looked like it went from the red to an iPhone, and the narrative took massive creative liberties. Superman did come back donning his infamous black suit, but instead of fighting crime or going back to Lois, he went crazy after seeing the other side. The romance between Wonder Woman and Batman blossomed, but then quickly died when he started calling her Martha at home. Flash quickly bolted out of the movie, and I was hoping it'd be for Flashpoint reasons, but that's a stretch now, and Cyborg tapped into the Matrix and was obsessed with Dogecoin. Martian Manhunter finally made his live-action debut, but became the villain when he started destroying cities looking for the Dragon Balls. What happened to Darkseid? Aquaman drowned, and the first interaction between Bats and the Joker was quickly over after Batman killed him. I know Snyder stands with Bruce branding and killing people, so I guess it really was going to be a short story in the end for the Joker, especially after Bats called dibs on the whole Robin thing. I don't know, what really threw me off was when the movie ended with 15 minutes of land chops placed in with coronavirus news. I don't know what I watched, but Pirate Bay has shaken my faith in the Snyder Cut. All in all, it's still better than what the Whedon Cut is, even if it must be acknowledged as the superior piece of trash that it is. 11 out of 10, my prayers have been answered. Now I go live as a homeless. Have a nice day.